I'm Jessica. And I'm Catherine. And we're here from Genome, Genome British Columbia. Columbia. Today we're at Science World asking people questions about genomics. Let's see what they say. Oh, have you heard of DNA before? I have. What do you know about it? Uh, probably whatever they taught me in high school and the makeup of each person. But exactly. not a lot of specifics. Okay, sure. that's pretty good. Exactly, so DNA is kind of the genetic code that makes us who we are. Right. And it's in all living organisms. Right. Yeah, perfect, that's a great understanding. And have you heard of um, something called the genome? I have not. Okay, great. So uh, genome is a more of a newer field and genome right. refers to all of the genetic information within one organism. Have you heard of the term DNA before? Yeah? What do you think you know about it? Okay. <laughs> That's okay. So DNA is actually in all of our cells in our body, and it kind of what makes you who we are. So it kind of makes your, your color of your hair, or the color of your eyes, or how tall you like, will you will grow, or something like that. Isn't that kind of cool that you have something that like, controls what you look like? Are you familiar with the term DNA or genetics? Yep, yes. Okay, can you give me a rough explanation of what you know about it? Isn't the DNA your uh, sort of barcade blueprint in your body makeup? Exactly. So it's yeah. in us, in all of our cells, and makes up what, uh, what we look like and how, we fun our, how our cells function and everything. Now, have you heard what a genome is? Have you heard the term genome? I have no idea. Okay, great. Uh, so a genome is actually all of the DNA within one organism. So maybe it is the basic um, framework for your, um, you know, human being, the human nature. So that's what it all derives from genetic DNA. Your entire, uh, you know, human form and your uh, your behavior, your, you know, everything that you is, is derived from. The genetics and the DNA. Perfect, great, thank you. And now, have you heard what a genome is? The word genome? Probably it's related to genetics. It is. Yeah. So, a genome refers to all of the genetics within one organism, and genomics is the study of genomes. Even now you know what genomics are, okay. where do you think genomics research can be applied to any of your daily lives? Oh, uh, I guess my first instinct is that um, with the understanding of it, we would have a better understanding of... My first reaction was to go into the pharmaceutical direction, so that if we had a better understanding of what was going in, happening in our body, we would could react to what we could do whenever we had disease or medical problems or health issues or things like that. So my first instinct is related to medical or pharmaceutical or natural health. I think maybe outside of human health, can you think of other examples? I would think it would apply to animals, biology, plants, farming, so... Yeah, anything, anything with living, DNA, right? Anything with living, right. That's great. Um, so can you think of any potential uh, health issues right now that we're facing that's more specific, an example? Just because cancer is close to my family, I, I, I default to cancer. Uh, there's been some other things that are closer to home with me, so you think of diabetes or arthritis or, mm. or things like that, that's where I, I naturally go to. Um, so I would think anything where we don't have solutions to chronic illnesses, that's where I would think about. Mm -hmm. um, as much as we live in a healthy city and I've traveled to less healthy cities, I would think that it's an area where we could just benefit helping people that are, you know, chronically sick. That's a great answer. So for sure, for something like cancer where there is there are genetic components to it, right. genomic research could help target solutions. And um, for other chronic illnesses, maybe there's some environmental factors. We can certainly work on the drugs that are treating those. Right. Where do you think the current genomics research can be applied? Like, can you think of areas in your lives? Uh, medicine. Yeah, medicine. Maybe. Uh, cancer research is, I suppose. Yeah. It's uh, big. Do you want to give them some examples? Sure, yeah. yeah. So even the, the Zika virus that people have been talking about over the years. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So they were saying that a potential so, uh, solution can be making genetically modified mosquitoes, male mosquitoes that can't reproduce and make more mosquitoes, and try and reduce the population of mosquitoes. Yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah, yes. if you think of um, areas where uh, genomics research can be applied, so maybe any diseases or maybe any um, anything right. like that. Yeah, um, 
maybe for you know AIDS studies, HIV studies, okay, yeah, the virus, virus, viral studies, yeah. and you know, uh, you know, cancer. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah, we fund a lot world. of research in yeah. both those areas Definitely, that you talked yeah, about. Cancer. Yeah. Or even rare diseases in kids when they right. can't figure out what the diagnosis right. so is. There are so many diagnoses mm -hmm. where you, you, you know, we don't know mm -hmm. what the diagnosis, like, you know, diagnosis not yet detected. So yeah. to fi figure out, you know, to rule out those diseases, you need to go back to the genetics yeah. again to find out where this is going yeah. So genomics have been in the media a lot for um, Precision or personalized medicine. Have okay. you heard of those terms before? I have not. You basically just described that with your example okay. of like like uh, drugs and right. health. And I got stuff lucky. Like that. Okay. Yeah, because that's basically what it would be, right? Like personalizing your medicine to your genomic, to your genomic right. or your genome. So, have you heard of the term precision or personalized medicine? No, really. No. No. Yes. Oh, yes. Do, would you like to explain what that is? I was looking at people's genetic makeup and personalizing the medicine so as it tends to their certain body types and backgrounds so it could be down to ethnicity. Yeah. Down to ethnicity yeah. And where different cultures yeah. make up. So. Perfect. And so, yeah, we are currently funding research that are working on that. So, coming up with drug solutions that target people's genetic makeup so there's less um, adverse drug side effects and um, um, Make, make the treatment a little better. Do you have a sister that looks very similar to you? Um, no, she actually looks similar to us. Oh, really? Okay, but it's interesting it's that like you Anna. guys... She's little already. She's little terrible. Oh, okay. And so it's interesting that you guys have the same yeah. parents, but you guys look different, right? And do you, why do you think that is? Oh. Because we have different organs. You have different organs? <laughs> no, we have the same organs, but we have we have the same, we all have a heart, we all have a stomach, but the DNA that codes for those things are slightly different. We have the same parents, why are all three of you, why do you guys look different or act differently? Because we have different DNA. But you have the same parents, so you should have all the same DNA, right? But we're different. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You guys are different people, because you get some of the DNA from mom and some of the DNA from her dad, and you might share some things, maybe hair color, but you might also share different DNA from mom and dad. But given that you and your siblings get all your genes from the same set of people, yeah. why do you think you and your sibling look so different? Well, we don't. Oh. So, uh, <laughs> you look the same? Uh, yes, we're often mistaken <laughs> for very similar, so um, I, I don't think we look all that different. Um, but do you recognize any different traits? Sure. Okay. Sure. But I, I, you know, that's kind of the ideology that not everyone's the same and there's going to be variants, but you know, I'm, I'm in a scenario where we do look quite similar as opposed to not too different. So that doesn't really affect me, but I understand that not everyone's going to look alike and people are going to be taller and shorter and, and you know, have different facial features and characteristics. So I don't, I don't, I haven't, I honestly, I haven't thought about it too much. <laughs> Well, there is a genetic underlying cause sure, for that. Of yeah, so um, parents, there is a random assign. Uh, what you get from your parents are randomly assigned, and so that would explain why some people's siblings yeah, sure. look very different. Well, we had a great day here at Science World. We spoke to lots of great people about genomics. What did you think, Jessica? I think it was awesome. Now back to the office. That's a wrap.